Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Destiny and I play a lot of Dreamlight Valley. Once I saw this library house in the Bell Dream Bundle since the Monsters Inc. update, I knew I needed it to be the perfect place for the Valley Library build. And I'm so sorry Merlin, but your books are not for public use. In this library, there's going to be a cafe, also a computer lab, and just an area to hang out and read some books while you're browsing the shelves. And so I really hope you enjoy this build. The very first thing that I wanted to make sure I did was fill the walls with a lot of shelves and just utilize a lot of that wall space for different shelves. I do alternate between the bell style and the greenery style so that way it is not so repetitive when you go and take photos within the build. I also wanted to create some dimension by having some of the bookshelves off the wall and I used the pillar to hide the seam between the two bookshelves. In this other corner, I was contemplating still if I was going to utilize all three rooms and then I changed my mind and decided it wasn't going to. I do like this Monsters Inc. window, however, I wanted to use the two bookcases to hide the points because I felt like it didn't match the vibes that I was aiming for within this build. For this room, the checkout counter was the part that I played around with the most. I did want to utilize this mining card for a book return area and I, you'll see it jump around in the video on occasion because sometimes it'll be in the back or sometimes it'll be in the front, but once I figured out that we could place items on top of it, I knew I wanted to stack a couple books on there as if there was some books that were returned and just need to be put back into their place. Well, I don't know if anybody else used to have a Borders bookstore in their location, but I remember that bookstore having furniture for you to lounge around and read books in and I absolutely love it and I honestly wish that Barnes & Noble would incorporate something like that because every time I go to the bookstore sometimes I end up sitting on the floor. Here I was working with the idea of placing another table to incorporate more books but I felt like it would look too cluttered so if you are looking to place a couple more books on shelves, feel free to go ahead and make that change. I think the hardest part of any build is figuring out which wallpaper I want to use. I found that the Ratatouille wallpaper might have brightened it up a little bit too much and I settled on the tavern wallpaper mixed with the Arendelle library paper and I thought this was a great combo to incorporate some more wood tones but also brighten up the space and also give it a little bit of color. I 
I figured that the cork board could be used as a community events board for people to look at when they're on their way in or out of the library and for the checkout computer and also to search what books that they have on stock this monsters in computer was the best option and i originally wanted to utilize this computer as well for the computer lab room build but i found out that we couldn't order more from scrooge's shop and i was really upset about that because this computer is more lifelike to computers I've seen in the libraries. Finishing touches for this room was adding a little bit more book clutter and stacks of books and these books I am obsessed with. However, I feel like in a real library they wouldn't have just stacks of books laying around but we don't need everything to be realistic. I did move the countertop situation as I mentioned before and I'm really happy with the final layout. second room of the library build was going to hold the computer lab as well as study tables. So for the computer lab I'm using the frozen table because it is the largest table and originally I wanted four computers but I ended up with three and that's perfectly a-okay. With the study desks I was utilizing the monsters and student desks for their wood tone as well as the bookshelves that don't go all the way up to the wall. They're the Merlin bookshelves. And so these bookshelves are currently glitched. So I did have to come in from the opposite side in order for them to land correctly. And this might just take a little bit, so just play around with it, but eventually the bookshelves will go where you want them to. I did play around with the layout of additional bookshelves and found that having the middle of the room a little bit more open was going to benefit this room a lot better than having another room with the bookshelves creating some dimension.
I was stumped as to what to put in this corner because I didn't want additional books and one of my chatters suggested making a seating area so that way anybody that was mid studying could take a break and relax and I thought that was a fantastic idea. So the rest of this room build is just placing additional detailing such as plants, a rug, and some wall decoration so that way it wasn't just the wallpaper. So the final room is the cafe build where I wanted to incorporate the nuances in coffee maker as well as some elegant seating and a lot of the desserts that we gained from the Turn of the Isle DLC pack. You'll notice that there's a couple times where I delete some decoration and jump around as figuring out the layout for the countertops was the most difficult thing for me as well as you will notice that in this build for the wallpaper I did try to incorporate the Belle's Dream Bundle yellow star wallpaper but I felt like it didn't match the vibe in the end. did want to switch out the green seating as it didn't match the cozy aesthetics and we went with the tangled couch just to incorporate a little bit more seating and I was looking for the chest rug 
and I didn't want to go with the brown rug I originally did. I still might change my mind. If you are interested in building this and want to incorporate the Lion King rug, feel free to go ahead and do so. As for desserts on the table, all you want to do is you want to make your desserts and drop them from your inventory and then you can place them wherever you need them to go. This countertop layout also isn't the finalized layout as I did have to play around with the stove and some other accessories. For the coffee maker, I was a little bit bummed that it wasn't one tile wide and was instead two tile wide, so I had to change up my plans as to which countertop I was going to use or use a separate table. And I decided on the Wally locker table in order to incorporate maybe some lockers for employees to hide their stuff. Again, playing with this layout was like playing Tetris because there was a lot of sections where I felt like I needed to fill it in and I was one cube off in my measurements for some of the areas and in incorporating a sink, but I finally found a layout that worked for me in the end. So if you're ever deciding to do a build, just play around with it and have fun. What you don't see is the amount of times that I played around with using the countertops and this is the final layout for the counters that I landed on. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments and let me know what other type of builds you would like to see me tackle as someone who is a new build creator. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy the tour.